Hallo there then. Staff Sergeant, Battery Staff, Battery Sergeant Major Williams here. I'm going to just go into a little bit higher register to sing the song. Meet the bomb gang, cause the boys are here. The boys to entertain you. With music and laughter to help you on your way. Raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. Songs with sketches and jokes of the knee. We're about you won't feel for me. <laughs> so meet the gang, cause the boys are here. Boys to entertain me. We are here to make you feel gay. So give us a cheer if the hey, hey, hey. Let's gather around and put down your gun. When you're about there's plenty of fun. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here. Boys to entertain you. Apologize for such a high voice. Normally I'm very deep, very deep register. Uh, but there is sort of Major Williams here and, and sounding a little bit uh, foreign, but I'm actually from Wales. <laughs> oh my God, it's very difficult to get that deep down. It's very, it's got such a deep voice. Wonderful to be here after uh, 40 years off the screen from uh, Intaf Hot Mom. It's nice and cool now and here in lovely Scotland where... The temperature never rises up into double figures. Uh, what a wonderful show that was. Completely politically incorrect now and unsuitable for a current feeling. But we're going to... Oh, God, I don't even know why I accent this is now. We're going to... <laughs> we're going to persevere with it and just try not to offend anybody too much. Well, I'm obviously offending lots of Welsh people with this terrible Welsh accent. Anyway, I hope you like the berry. I got that from uh, Armstrong yesterday. It's... Uh, the German army? Yeah, I had to cut it at the back actually to get over my giant head. Right, and this is a, this is my this is my stick. It's actually a it's actually a musical stick. It's like a, it's like a pen pipe from uh, South America. Well, mercifully, it doesn't make any noise. Anyway, here we have Staff Sergeant uh, Staff, Staff Sergeant's uh, what's his name? Oh, Lofty Staff Sergeant Lofty. Uh, right, right, lovely boyos. Let's get on with the show. I've not had time to. Th I've been so busy making this handlebar moustache. So I hope you like it. It's, it's glued on and it's just made from bits of bits of old cat fur. It's wonderful. Uh, I couldn't get anything online not for less than thirty quid, forty quid it was for a handle a proper handlebar moustache. So I just I made my own. Yes, it's very good. Uh, but of course I've not had any time to think about what I was going to play. So uh, let's just play some stuff. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I've got um, hairs stuck to my fingers. Look at that, hairy fingers. Now that's that you want to get. You want to go to the doctor when you start getting hairy fingers. That's not normal. Yeah, glued them to me. Anyway, I'm sure it won't make any difference to the playing at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
set of tunes, yes. That was, um, oh, what was it now? Oh, it was the, high, the, the New Road to Athol uh, by Poole and Barber. That was followed by the Headlands, uh, which was followed by, oh, the Lewis and Harris Gathering, and finally Loch Turden. That was quite a set. Just made up from random tunes. Being a random look here, random bits of moustache that I've been cutting up to make this wonderful Full grown handlebar. Mm. Yeah, who needs wax when you have you who? Where is it? Ah, left it. Missing my sponsorship moment. Yes, who needs who needs who needs uh who needs uh, moustache wax when you have lovely oh I always get it wrong. Lovely Yuhu glue. Yes, sponsored by Yuhu, the only palindromic glue. Same back to front, upside down. Ah, oh, no wonder they don't sponsor me. I just can't get that right. I need to prep up and go. Yoo-hoo, the only palindromic glue. You too could have yoo-hoo. Mm. Anyway, I blame on the yoo-hoo going up my nose. That's why I do all these silly things. Normally I'm a very sensible person. Uh, right, we've got to get some more tunes on this show because really there's not there's no content apart from that. It's not. It's it's just it's just an empty space. <laughs> Uh, oh, speaking of Major, uh, let's do Major Manson. Major Manson's, Major Manson's trip to Clark and Trussell, what is it? Major Manson's farewell to Clark, farewell to Clark and Trussell. I think so. Anyway, Major. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just couldn't help myself from getting up and marching to that tune. Such a fine, marchable tune. I just about fell off my seat with excitement at the end of it there, boy Ah, oh, that was very invigorating. Invigorating uh, Major Manson's something to Clark and Trussell, or something of Clark and Trussell. God, I used, to, I used to know that. Anyway, at least I remembered the tune this week. <laughs> Good doggy. Um, look. I'll just even move the dog to make it look like it was when we had the real dogs. Back in the old look at the, the old golden days of the show, the honeymoon period, yes, when we had a real dog on the show. I forgot we had real dogs. Must get one again. Uh, just a goldfish or something would be good, wouldn't it? It's, they're, pretty, they're pretty cheap. Get a goldfish next week. Right, um, what have I not played for a while? How about some jiggy jig jigs? Yes. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
That was the entire set of Gordon Duncan tunes. Uh, for those of you who who know what you who know what you know, yeah, they're all jigs. Yeah. That's what it should have been. I blame it on the um, the hairy fingers. Uh, <laughs> ah, whispering grass, Alex Monaghan. Yes. Well, I was thinking about performing that, but it's too diff it's too difficult, and uh, I can't get down that low. I can't get that high for lofty either. Whispering grass, that was a big hit that uh, Linda Davis, who played um, Battery Sergeant Major Williams, uh, and uh, lofty Don Don Estelle, Don Estelle, who played lofty. He was a little tiny guy with a big uh, pith helmet on. They they had a big hit with Whisper whispering grass, whispering grass, lofty, take it away, lofty. Uh, yes, but it's too difficult for me to sing, and really, I would just make a horrible mess of it. But to be honest, I make a horrible mess of the tunes anyway, so there's no need to do, there's no need to go on and do that with the songs as well. Although I do like to do that sometimes too. I do, oh yes, I do. Um, so we'll not do that. But yes, thank you for mentioning that, Alex. And uh, you've know, show eight and a half hot mom set in set in India, I think. Uh, and uh, it was first aired in 1974. I uh, can't remember if I saw the first episode, but I saw many of them. And uh, uh, Battery Sergeant Major Williams had a terrible job getting his troops in order because they were all the they were all the useless ones <laughs> uh, from the army who who were in the uh, the dramatic corps. Yes, they had a penchant for theatre, and um, poor uh, Sergeant Major Williams had to try and uh, make real soul proper soldiers out of them. Lovely boys. So he had a hard job, but uh, it was it was quite uh, entertaining. Anyway, I, not very PC. There was lots of um, lots of things that you couldn't get away with now. But very very entertaining in the nineteen seventies when it, when back in the days when anything went. Uh, now speaking of uh, anything goes, I went. That's a terrible uh, segue. I went to a wonderful wedding last night in. Uh, Port Seaton, Kikensi, fantastic, in the in the British Legion. In the British Legion, yes, I'm still a member. And uh, what a fantastic wedding. Sean Paul Newman, friend, and his uh, wife from Lithuania, Elena, who I met for the first time. And a uh, fantastic bunch of folk, musicians and normal people. Uh, fantastic Kaylee, fantastic display of Irish dancing by Absolute Legless, uh, run the, the uh, Irish dancing group run by... Uh, Paul's ex-wife Diane, who was there, um, keeping everybody in line, like a like a real sergeant major, an Irish one rather than a Welsh one, and a, an amazing buffet by a woman. Uh, I think her name was L Lorraine, Elaine. Sorry, Elaine, who was a social worker, but had turned her hand to the. And it was really one of the best buffets I've ever had. I'm not kidding. I've been to millions of buff wedding buffets because I'm always playing at weddings, and it was just spectacular, fantastic. And oh my God, I think it was the cheapest bar I've been in for about twenty years. It was like you get three drinks for a tenner and still get change. Wow, I'm going back there. Uh, absolutely brilliant night. Congratulations to uh, Sean Paul and Eleanor. Uh, what else happened there? Oh, there was a disco afterwards. I didn't join in the disco, but I just had a few more pints at the incredibly bargain price of three pounds something. Honestly, unbelievable. I think I'm going to move to Kikenzie. Uh Right, a set of tunes to finish off the show. Oh yes, we need a set of tunes to finish off this show, boy -o. Um, What would be good? Something fast, something fast, yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to say about the wedding last night. I, Pat Dennis, who runs this very show, Quarantine Gigs, was there. It was nice to see him. But also, I met three people, maybe four, who I'd never met before in all of my life. And they all came to say hello because they watched this show. <laughs> That's very interesting. It's spreading far and wild. Wide, like a, like a virus. Oh, can't say that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, folks. Uh, it's been another, it's been another show. What can I say? It's been another show. I'm off to try and remove this uh, moustache with some hot soapy water. Uh, see you next week from, oh, live from France. Oh, I need to think of a friend's theme. Go over to play some gigs in France, my um, friend Andrew Mill and various other chums. So yes, it'll be a, a, a live outside broadcast live from France. We'll have done a gig actually already that morning. Uh, a week today, we'll, we've got a gig at 11 in the morning. What, that's a crazy idea. I'm probably still in my bed by then. Uh, however, I will try and drag ourselves out uh, for the gig and we'll see you afterwards for some kind of French themed show. Goodbye! Well, Staff Sergeant Susie, it's time to get a bit of training for you. This is a stick and you must fetch. Fetch! Fetch! Come on! Come on, you rascal! Fetch! Fetch! Right, I'm going to have to give you a hand. Well done, good doggy!